What's going on guys in this tutorial I'm going to help you fix the problem of not being able to install old APKs on Android 13 or 14. So before we start I'm just going to quickly demonstrate that I am 14 right here. And then I'm going to try to install this very old version of Dead Trigger 1, not Dead Trigger 2, but Dead Trigger 1. And as you can see, I'm getting the uh, that error and it's not installing. So you're going to need a uh, couple of apps. Uh, both, one of them has some paid features, but we don't need any of the paid features for this tutorial. So the first one is this called Shizuku. And the second one is MT Manager. Shizuku can be found for free in the Google Play Store. All you have to do is go to the Google Play Store, type in Shizuku, and as you can see, I currently have it installed. All you have to do is tap on it and install it. And MT Manager, I'll have a link for you uh, in the description. Next, we're gonna head over to our Android settings. And we're going to go down to About Phone. And then we're going to head over to Software Information. And then we want to find Build Number. And we want to tap on that a few times. And you'll see it saying that you're one step or two steps away from being a developer. And before it makes you a developer, you need to input your PIN code on your device. So let's go ahead and enter that. And now it says developer mode has been turned on. Tap back twice. And now at the very bottom, you'll see this developer options. Go into that and find wireless debugging right here. You want to tap on the toggle to enable that. You'll get this message that it's now, uh, you know, wireless debugging has now been enabled. So you want to tap on Shizuku. And as you can see, currently it says it's not running. So we are going to activate that. So let's leave it like that and head back over to our settings. And this time we want to tap somewhere here in the middle on wireless debugging. We'll get this. Scroll down to pair device with pairing code. Tap on that. You'll get a code with an IP address. So you want to just head back over like that. And... Um, all you have to do is tap on the icon of Shizuku like so right there in this view. And you want to enable open in split screen view. Okay, now you just want to tap on your settings again. And back on the pair device with pair code. So now you have your code. If you don't get this enter pairing code, all you have to do is just go back and tap on this pairing right here. And just um, enter your, uh, your code and tap on send. Okay, I inputted the wrong code, so I'm going to try again. Okay, so we are now successfully paired. So now you can just head back over to Shizuku, tap back, and you should get this start option here. You just tap on that start. And you'll get this little screen on the left like that. It's going to go away in a couple of seconds. And you can see on the top now it says Shizuku is running. Below that we have authorized one application. So we just tap on that. I've already authorized MT Manager. You, you'll get MT Manager here. Make sure you've already installed MT Manager, otherwise you won't get this. So then just toggle the switch on to activate MT Manager. That's it. You can now just head over to MT Manager. Head over to the three dots in the top right corner right there and go down to preferences right here and you want to scroll down until you see use shizuku to install apk right there make sure you toggle that on go back now find your old apk 
Mine is right here. I'm just going to tap on it. I'm going to tap on install. And as you can see, it's trying to install it. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Here it is. And we'll just enter it from here. You'll get this message only once. You won't ever see it again. Just tap OK. And as you can see, I need to download some data. So I'm just going to download the data. And I'll come back to demonstrate and prove that the game works once it's done downloading the data. OK, guys, we are done downloading the data. It's going to play a short uh, movie intro, which unfortunately we can't skip in this old version of the game. So let's wait just a, a few seconds for it. And uh, I just want to show you that indeed it does work. And there we go. We can now enter the first mission. And as you can see, the game is fully functional. I hope you guys find this helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.